So for the spice mix or the seasoning mix, here I have one tablespoon of Lowry seasoned salt. I'll show you what it is. I use that. Here is one tablespoon of chicken bouillon flavoring or chicken powder. I also have two teaspoons of a poultry seasoning blend. It has things like onion, garlic, basil, rosemary, coriander, sage, thyme, paprika, black pepper, and marjoram. That is the combination. And I always like to say, season your food the way you like. Use the spice blend that you prefer. I remember I had an uncle that loved to use the uh, store-bought Montreal chicken seasoning. That's something you can use. I also have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of salt-free lemon pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, and that is what I'm using to season the chicken with. Okay, so here I have 2.75 pounds of chicken. These are four drumsticks and two chicken breasts, and I cut each chicken breast in half, and these do have the bone in. I'm going to season my chicken with a tablespoon and a half. You know what, I'll go for two full tablespoons of my seasoning. And the rest you'll want to reserve it later for the dredge. So put that aside. Now I'm going to add two cups of buttermilk and that's actually the rest of this container. My family has been in a fried chicken mood lately so it is what it is, and I like to experiment when making fried chicken with different brines, marinades, and seasonings, and this is just another way to do it. <laughs> so now I'm going to add, today I'm gonna to add, I, I'd say a quarter cup to a third cup of Louisiana hot sauce. Really, it's up to you. That might actually be more, yeah. Okay, this is more like a half cup. Okay, so now a good mix. And I am going to marinate this overnight. If I'm using boneless chicken, if you have boneless chicken thighs or chicken tenders, chicken breast, two to three hours works. But with bone in, I do like to do it overnight. But it's up to you. If you don't have that kind of time, at least two to three hours. Okay, so this is combined. Now I'm going to store it in the fridge overnight. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so my chicken has marinated overnight in my buttermilk marinade, and I'm gonna set this aside. And it's also um, good if you set it out um, to take some, the chill off before frying, so I'm just gonna let this hang out while I prepare the rest of the, the dredges. So here in a dry bowl, I'm going to add around two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Two and a half to three cups of flour works. So now I'm going to add that seasoning mix that we created to, for the marinade. And here's the spicy. So I added a quarter teaspoon of onion powder because I wanted more onion flavor and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You could also add cayenne pepper to your marinade, but I just, we like spicy, but just not super extra spicy. So if you really want melt your face spice, <laughs> add cayenne pepper to your marinade as well. But that's gonna give us just enough heat and spice. But a lot of the seasonings and spices are to your preference. Okay, so here's my dry flour dredge that I've added the seasoning mix to. I ended up adding all of the seasoning, by the way. So for the wet, I'm going to add two large eggs and I'm going to take like a half cup of my seasoned flour mix. And I'm also going to use some Topo Chico mineral water. It's just carbonated water. And I'm going to mix in just a little bit and this is going to be the wet and then the dry. This is going to give me a really uh, crunchy, thick coat to my chicken, which is what I want. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my chicken from the marinade and put it into the wet egg mixture. And put it right into my flour. Use 
one hand to coat and pat it in there. Then you just kind of give it a shake, press it, shake it, and that's it. And like I always say, if you want a double battered, double coated chicken, go ahead and go through all your pieces, coat it once, then put it right back into your wet mixture, give it another mix, add it to more dry uh, your flour. Now, if you are going to double batter it, then you're probably going to need an extra cup of flour. So that's something to think about if you're gonna do that. So here it is, coated chicken. I'm gonna place it on a baking sheet, repeat the process till all of my chicken is coated. Okay, so all of my chicken is coated, and I actually double coated the legs because I felt like I wanted more crust on that, but you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna let this hang out for about 10 to 15 minutes and start preheating my uh, oil. Okay, now I'm going to add my chicken to fry. Okay, so my chicken is going to fry for somewhere between 12 to 15 minutes. The chicken legs will take the longest to fry, so I'm going to do around seven minutes on each side. Now, the, the chicken breasts do have a small piece of bone in it, but they are cut into smaller pieces, and some of them are a lot thinner, so the cook time will vary on those. You wanna make sure that your chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit on the inside, and when you cut a slit in the chicken, the juices should run clear. That's a good indication your chicken is done. Okay, so this has been frying on the first side for about six minutes, so I'm gonna start by flipping my chicken breast. And then I'll let my chicken legs continue frying on the first side for another three minutes and then I'll put those. Okay, so all of my chicken is done and it is really hot right now. So I'm gonna let it hang out for about three to five minutes and then I will take a bite and show you how it looks on the inside. Not that, um, some of you don't really need that, but you know, I know a lot of you like to hear that crunch and this crust is definitely crunchy. Okay, so here is a drumstick and it's still hot, so I probably will burn my mouth, but it's all for you guys. So here we go. Listen to this crunch. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.